President Tinubu makes new protest speech. Admit subsidy was removed without adequate planning to cushion effects. Now that we finally, you are finally come outside to say it. What are you going to do about it? That is the cuckoo. The news in detail, please. Finally, President Bola Metunembu has admitted that there was a lag between the removal of first subsidy and the plans to elevate the hardship caused by the policy. In a new address posted on his ex account, he stated that all his good and helpful plans are in the works, but that there was an unavoidable lag between subsidy removal and these plans coming fully online. He went on to assure that this plan would succeed as he and his team were swiftly closing the time gap and he pleaded with the public to please have faith in our ability to deliver and in our concern for your well-being. Below is a statement. This period may be hard on us and there is no doubt and there is no doubt that it's tough on us but I urge you all to look beyond I urge you all to look beyond present temporarily pain and aim at the larger future. All our good and helpful plans are in the works. More importantly, I know that they would work. Sadly, there was an unavoidable lag between subsidy removal and these plans coming fully online. However, we are swiftly we are swiftly closing the time gap, and I plead with you, please have faith in our ability to deliver and in our concern for your well-being. We will get out of this turbulence. And due to the measures we have taken, Nigeria will be better equipped and able to advantage and able to take advantage of the future that awaits her. For example, we shall fulfill our promise to make education more affordable to all and provide loans to higher education students who may need them. No Nigerian student will have to abandon higher education because of lack of money. Our commitment is to promote the greatest good for the greatest number of our people. On principle, we shall never falter. I assure you, my fellow countrymen and women, that we are exiting the darkness to enter a new and glorious dawn. Now I must get back to work in order to make this vision come through. See, in everything we talk, I don't see we are in a dress. You are just coming out to acknowledge. Acknowledgement is not enough. Acknowledgement is not enough. The name of this particular protest is Edband Governance and End Hunger. Nigerians on the street because of hunger that is caused by bad governance. Coming out to tell them that you are actually aware of what they are going through does not give any relief. It does not give even a trickle of relief, even a, as an anatom of it. Now, I am even hearing him saying, talking about education, a person way child, now go go school. If belly they empty, person no go go school. Now, when you even see money for charge, go can they consider? I be make I use my money to make I save this money, make I know it today, make I save and use and buy handouts, make I join a money. If money no they say go the reason school matter, you don't go the reason school matter. He then is he's not getting it. Coming out to tell us that eh, you are going to make sure now, even that policy you brought out, the so called loan, is that what we are even is that what we need now? Is that what we need? Are there jobs available for it? Are you not supposed to be focusing on ending hunger? Because I don't get. You're coming out to say, you're not even saying, okay, people are working to make sure that refineries are built. You just, these people are, you, it is crystal clear. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These people do not have good plans for anybody. Democracy is government of the people and not the government of the rulers. So if you cannot accept or listen to the voice of the people, you better resign or you'll be forced to leave there. That's it. It takes one day to pronounce removal of subsidy, which is favorable to you and your wicked cabinet members and the whole Nigerians are suffering. Enough of all these deceiving words. A well-blessed country has turned to suffering land in your hands. Nigerians must make this country work again. The fight continues. And that is it. All this super story you're coming out to say, you know what they are going through. Oga, okay? they don't care. Make things work better. Make things improve. You are coming out to talk about students' loan. What's it concerning students' loan and say people know if we chop? Huh. Oh, wow. That is why it should be reserved and the electricity tariff as well. What I know is that Bola Tunubu is a politician, but he does not have enough knowledge of a good leader like Muhammad Buhari. 
Number one, he removes subsidy without any preparation for the people of Nigeria and increased custom duty on importation of goods. Dollar rate from 450 naira to 1,620 naira. As at today, it was second Buhari closed border and removed subsidy on foreign rice and increased fuel to 118 naira. But Tunibu came, removed everything at once, used 21 billion to build house for VP, 7 billion first. I'm telling you, there is no sign that these people know what they're doing. Absolutely no sign. I'm seriously disappointed now about Mr. President's speech. People are talking about how to survive this hunger. This man is talking about the plan he has for Nigeria. You know when people are alive, they'll be talking about education. My dear, food is the most important thing. I don't understand why he's not even saying it. This man thought we are fools like him. He removed subsidy from school, from where, from food, directly or indirectly. This loan of school you're talking about is a slave trade because federal university are paying four of what Buhari left there before so stop fooling us indirectly he has removed school costs school subsidy of course it's not indirectly i said i know somebody who is paying 50k i mean who was rather he was paying 50k for a particular state polytechnic and before you would no, it's a federal polytechnic rather before you would say jack robinson it's moved from 50 to 190 like i'm asking myself how 190 how ha I had already said that every Tunum, every money Tunumbo had collected in respect of subsidy removal is not kept for the good of the economy and Nigerians. Why? Some of you are not aware how enormous was the bribery to be selected as president, whether domestically or internationally. He bribed to be cleared academically, to be cleared biologically, to be cleared by electoral empire. Everything about this man before God and man is a ruse and a hoax. Pseudo all the way. Subsidy cannot return and that is the truth. My own is all this one is saying is not what Nigerians wants to hear. That is not what you want to hear. The president has no conscience. This is pure wickedness. For seven days today, Nigerians are protesting for their rights and the presidents are doing nothing. Please, Mr. President, do have a conscience and fear God to lead your people very well. Please, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. At the end, you and your cabinet will end up with nothing. Rather than looting our money. That is what they do. That is what they do. It is not speeches and speeches that Nigerians want, but concrete actions to curb to call profligacy and ways that are not so stark. Politicians and their family cannot be revealing why the followers are expected to continue with endless sacrifices, tightening their belts and renewing their hopes in perpetuity. All right on this note, Jock. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy.